Mom's Grace. Today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today the Bible title is 20 chapter God's man Samuel. Hannah was crying and praying in the temple. She didn't have any children. Her husband Eli was loving husband. But Eli's another wife, Pania was calling to Hannah. Help me, God. Give me child. If you let me a baby boy, I'll offer him to you. So, Hannah was crying because she didn't have any baby. And so she was praying to God. And his husband was a loving husband, but Elkanah's another wife was calling to Hannah because she didn't have any baby. The priest of the temple Eli thought Hannah was drunk. Hannah, you have to quit drinking. Hannah said to Eli, I am not drunk. I am praying because I am so sad. The priest said to Hannah, Go in peace. God will answer your prayer. Hannah was not sad anymore. God really gave her a son. Hannah was very happy. Samuel means God answered my prayer. So she was praying. So he got ten baby boy. And she named Samuel God and Samuel. Samuel means God answered my prayer. When Samuel was a little boy, Hannah took Samuel to the temple. It give this child to God. I will give this child to God. Can you help him to serve God? Yes, I will help him said Ali the priest Hannah then got for Samuel so at the first page Hannah Hannah like promised that help me God give me a child if you let me a little boy I will I will offer to him. Samuel lived in the temple. He helped Eli and served God. Samuel obeyed God. He made God happy. He made people happy. Hannah and Elkanah came to the temple a temple to worship God. Hannah brought a jacket for Samuel. They wanted Eli to bless them, bless us more children. Eli prayed for them. God blessed Hannah with three sons and two daughters. Wow. So God, they want God to bless us so bless them so God bless them with three sons and two daughters.
<laughs> Samuel served God in the temple. He heard a voice calling him. Samuel, Samuel. God was calling Samuel. God spoke to Samuel. Everything. God said happened. Everything God said happened. Samuel gave message to the people of Israel. He was a special prophet of God. 21 chapter David the brave boy Come out, come out, said Goliath at the giant. Come out and fight with me. The Israelites was frightened. With the Palestines, Goliath was the tr strongest Palestine soldier. So they were going. Pal uh, <laughs> Palestine said, "Like let's fight one the one." So they were. They agreed and oh. Uh, and Pelopin's soldier was a giant. I'll fight with Goliath, said David. <sniffs> David brought food to his brother. They were the soldiers in King Saul's army. David made be and David was mad because Goliath was making fun of God's army. You're a young boy. Goliath is a giant soldier, said King Saul. I protect my sheep from the lions and bears. God will be with me. So everyone was afraid. And oh. And David was not afraid. He was. He was angry with Goliath because the Goliath made fun of God's army, and he said, "God will help me." Still, King Saul was mm, afraid. King Saul, his gave his armor to David, but it was too big and heavy to wear. David stood before Goliath. He had stones and slings and in his hand. Goliath was upset to see a young boy, David. Stones and sling? Do you think I am a puppy? I come before for you in the name of the Lord. You made fun of God's army, didn't you? I let the world know that God is alive. God doesn't need a sword or a spear, said David. David put a stone in his sling. He let the stone fly. The stone hit Goliath's forehead. Or at this here. <laughs> And he fell to the ground. David ran to Goliath and took his sword. David won. You're very brave, David, said King Saul. David was really brave. Everybody said David was brave, but David knew God told them. Yes, today I, I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy the next time I'll read another good story? Then let's see you next time. Bye!